This is KITV Sports Sunday with Bob Ballou and Adam Winkler. I have been overcome and, and affected emotionally by being named the head coach at the University of Texas. Texas is a winner! I mean, he's earned everybody's respect. He's the greatest college coach of all time. You don't get a mentor in life ever like you do with Coach Burrito. Like he's kind of a goofball and just kind of you know, jokes around with you. You can't just push a button and go, oh boy, my willpower button worked. Seeing the reactions, seeing the dog piles, seeing the uh, smiles on their faces. We are the best at what we are doing. So to me, that's the magic in it. Much more on the end of Augie Garrido's career shortly. Here's hoping this isn't the end of Sonia Richards Ross' career. The Longhorn Olympian and superstar track athlete pulled up in the 100 meters in Atlanta yesterday with a right leg injury. It is a huge blow for her run at one final Olympics and as she hoped, one final gold medal before she retires. The University of Texas did not permit Augie Garrido to speak to the media following his ouster as head baseball coach. Mac Brown spoke two days following his resignation. Rick Barnes spoke not even a day following his dismissal. Yet here we sit six days following the removal of the winningest college baseball coach ever, most colorful too, and nothing. Maybe the colorful part is why we yeah. haven't talked to him. Either way, Garrido did want to coach one more year, but honorably accepted his position as assistant to AD Mike Perrin. Garrido texted his players before a team meeting on Tuesday. A 20-year career ended with a 25-32 and 32 record in 2015-16, but it's the good that outweighs the bad in his career. Garrido does not want his last chapter to overshadow his entire story. He claimed five national titles, three at Cal State Fullerton, two at Texas, making him the first coach to win a championship at two different schools. He is the best ever to do what he's as you know what he does and I think that most teachers most coaches are teachers the best coaches are teachers they can relate to kids they can relate to you know their students and that's what Augie did best he would just get up there and he would just bring so much passion in his in his motivating talks he would inspire he, he would instill fear sometimes so that you wouldn't be scared of the game you'd be scared of coach Garrido and then you'd go up there and you'd perform <laughs> Since the year 1911, the University of Texas has employed just four full-time head baseball coaches. The search is on for number five, and it's not going to be easy because if you ask just about anyone, they'll tell you Augie Garrido was much more than just a baseball coach. As famous for his style of play as his win total, Augie Garrido will always be associated with small ball, perhaps because there was always something bigger than baseball. He would say things and you'd just be like, you're a baseball coach? You should be a professor. More philosopher than baseball coach, Garrido could find the Socrates in a squeeze play, Confucius in a cleanup hitter, and Aristotle in earned runs. So excited about it. Hired away from Cal State Fullerton in 1996 as the third winningest active coach in Division I history, Augie eyed Austin as his destination job. The time that I've spent up to this, uh, this moment has been an apprenticeship. And in 20 seasons at the helm of the horns, Garrido could guide apprentices rather than serve as one. Jordan Etier, who played at Texas from 2009 to 2012, is now a coach himself. He'd get in your face and he'd yell at you and he'd tell you what you need to know. And you'd sit back and you'd go, oh man, he's right, he's right. And there were certainly more rights than wrongs, more wins than losses. But after a pair of national titles in 02 and 05, Texas has missed the tournament more than it's been to Omaha since playing for the championship in 2009. In 2013, as his team stumbled to a 7-17 Big 12 record, Garrido told me it's the time spent on the bottom that makes the view from the top so sweet. We'll solve the problem. But you'll be here to solve that problem. I'll be here to solve the problem unless the loss fires me. I'm not moving away. I've been through this six times. The reason the highlights are there are because of seasons just like this. It was never going to happen again. But it did. The Horns 32 losses this year equal the most in any season in the history of Texas baseball. The man who tries to avoid expectations like hitters try to avoid a fastball at their chin. I hate that word expectations. Expected his future on the 40 acres to be in question. But with one year remaining on his contract, Garrido wanted the chance to fix things on his way out. I've been on record all along that uh, I, I want to be, that I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to resign. I'm not going to retire. So if I'm 
not back. It's because I couldn't control the decision that was made. So the decision was made for him. In his 15 College World Series appearances, Augie Garrido won 21 games when facing elimination. That's the second most ever. But with his back against the wall this time, Garrido, the man who taught his players to only control what they can control, could not call the pitch or the play to get out of this pickle. He needs to be congratulated for everything that he's done for the people around here and all the students and all the baseball players and just the, the whole city. He, he's just been a legend. He is the best ever to do what he does. It's awesome. It's something that no one can take away from me. No one can take away from my 35 teammates every year and the guys that played before me and after me. He may have been brought to Texas to play small ball, but Augie Greedo leaves after making a big impact. And we'll miss him a lot. Yep. <laughs> he's the best.